Live day trading low foot small cap stocks straight from the watch list the hot stocks of the day Live day trading penny stocks live day trading small account on a small account So anyways, it's great to be here guys as you guys know last week I took a day off and I took a good weekend off I'm very humbled by this experience and I want you guys to know I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on, how I'm moving forward and how I'm going to get back on top of the world and how I'm going to do it slow and steady. The slow horse gets there every single time. I'm not real worried about it, but I'm very humbled. I, the stock market humbled me. Day trading options. I started day trading options six months ago. Day trading options option six months ago my account was sitting at 13 14 thousand dollars six months ago ever since i started day trading options i've been losing about a thousand dollars a month for the last six months hence my account balance my starting balance is eight thousand three hundred thirty nine dollars let me tell you what i'm gonna do here Wait, let, let me get this show on the road. Let me tell you, J-A-N is moving up, but I have a lot of stuff to say. We're going to be day trading low flow small cap stocks every single day from 9 a.m. to 11.30. Day trading the stock market low flow small cap stocks. I'm going away from options. I'm sorry. I tried it for six months. And six months, I basically lost $1,000 a month for the last six months. So what am I going to do? How am I going to get this account balance back up? Well, first things first, well, I'm going to tell you. Day 609 of the Monkey Army March started with $440. My account was at $12,900 all the way up. Let's get this. You guys know what happened with this one. Account blown basically i lost every little bit of that money account blown starting over from scratch that's why you see my new starting account balance today is eight thousand three hundred thirty nine dollars that's going to be my starting account balance from this day forward i want to reset re-get my mind right and come back clean come back beautiful and come back like a butterfly i was a caterpillar Sting like a bee, man. I'm going to stink like a bee. Here we go, man. So there we go. Boom, boom, boom. So that's what I'm going to do. First account was blown. So now we are on this account. I'm going to show you right here. Here's the new thing. Oh, sorry, man. Wrong one. Today is part two, the comeback. Day one, we are the comeback kid. Starting balance, day one, today. Day trading low flow small cap stocks straight from the start. I'm starting with a balance of $8,339. Current balance today, $8,339. How am I gonna get this account back up to where it was to begin with? Well, it took me six months to lose uh all that money about six thousand dollars so it's going to take me about six months to get that money back how am i going to do it i'm going to earn twenty dollars a day twenty dollars a day which is a hundred dollars a week which is about two thousand four hundred dollars in about six months time i will also be adding a hundred dollars a week out of my own money uh times six months which is $2,400. So in about six months, by Christmas, I'll be right back where I was and we'll be fine. Maybe I'll make more, maybe I'll make less. We will see. But the monkey army run to $1 million. Fall down seven times, get up eight. Count your blessings, man. Count your blessings. Uh, Mitch, Alex, are you a troll? So here we go, man. Mitch, we all know truth. Don't beat man down. It's okay, man. I'm fine. I tell, everything's good in America here. We're going to get this money. Part two, we're starting day one, the comeback. Another thing I need to tell you guys about is the donations and everything else. I have a new donations. So every single donate up until this point is in my files. I have every a penny accounted for. Ad revenue in my files, every penny accounted for. I close the file, but I have it. I have every single cent accounted for. Max, 
continued and is in, in a file also. Keychain holders is in a file. Giveaway winners is in a file. I have all that information. Boom, I got it down. I got it perfect. I just want you guys to know every single that thing that I'm doing here, man. And that's just the truth right there. I want to show you guys every single penny. I'm gonna show you how long it takes me to get to $1 million, the situation, the journey, is the fun the journey is the fun man is there anything else i need to get through i think i went through about everything so i am going to be day trading gold for small cap stocks again how much money am i going to be spending into each trade as you guys know on a cash account it takes two days for your cash to clear so i will be trading i will be spending four thousand dollars each day into my trades I'm focusing on $20 a day with this small account on low full small cap stocks. I'm very excited. Before I went over to options, I was a profitable trader. I went over to options, I gave it a shot, and it just wasn't for me. If I could trade the tickers outright, there's always going to be and ifs or buts. A short selling the stock market is a great way to make money. Options are a little bit more complicated if you're going to trade them straight out. I still think it's a great way to make money. I will trade AMD on the short side every once in a while with option contracts, just so you guys know. Here we go, man. The word of the week is consume. <laughs> I'm going to consume the stock market. So J-A-N. This is the first stock I have on watch this morning is stock J-A-N. I hope you guys can bear with me. At $20, it'll take 160. Yeah, Brian K., uh, what, uh, my first goal is to get my account back up. Maybe I'll make more than $20 a day, but I'm just telling you, um, this is my journey. This is my situation. In six months time, my account should be around $15,000, $16,000. It, by Christmas, my account should be at uh, back where it was, and then we're going to see what we're going to do from there because I'm working on getting this account to twenty-five thousand. You guys ain't seen nothing yet, but I need to. I need to buckle down. I need to quit spinning my wheels with options. I was making a little money, losing more. So you guys know, last week I basically lost uh, the full six thousand in one day. I was going up, I was going down. I don't really count the first three losses when I started options because those were a little bit different. But anyways, I had lost on my first three trades when I started options. I built the account all the way back up and then I took that substantial loss and that's where I lost the $6,000 was basically last week. I'm good with it. I'm fine. Everything's going to be good, man. There's nothing going to stop us. Nothing going to slow us down. We are going to get where we need to get. Every single donate that comes into this live stream will still go into my account. Just so you guys know that. I really uh, thank you guys for being here. Let me calm down a little bit. Let me relax. So how many shares will I buy of this stock? I'm going to spend $2,000 into each trade. Basically around $2,200 into each trade. I may, uh, when I do a starter position, on the, I will be trading small caps on the long side. Low flow small cap stocks on the long side. Only on the long side on a cash account. And you guys will see what it takes to get where I need to go, man. Always great show. Thank you, Brian Games. I'm sorry about the options. They're just done for me right now. I took a substantial loss. Look at AMD. The two times I traded it and lost money was on this day. It never came back down. And I'm going to show you every single time I ever decided to size into AMD were the two days out of the whole year, it decided to stay up, up, and up. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. That's good. That's dandy. So the stocks we have on watch this morning, low float small cap stocks, J-A-N. The float on J-A-N is around $2 million. That's according to Yahoo Finance or uh, Finviz through Float Checker. 
The float is around 2 million. I think this is going to be a great, great stock right here today. Good to see you back. Oh, penny stocks. Live day trading. Low flow small cap stocks. This is the money. Where are we going to do it? J-A-N. J-A-N is going to do it, man. This is the money, money, money. I'm going to try. So how many shares will I buy of this stock? I'm basically probably going to buy about 300 shares. 400, 300 shares. So let's get ready to go. I'm going to trade in the pre-market. I'm looking for one and done trades. JAN is at the top of my list. I also have a few other stocks out here. Let's get this money, man. So here we go. If I do want to add into this position, I will basically buy 100 shares. If I'm going to add up to 400, I'll do a 112. Here we go. Where am I looking to get in? I can't do, I can't scalp it really that great because a one and done, I just can't get in there right here. Look at it going up right here, looking beautiful. So I put this on GTC extended hours. I'm getting ready to buy this dip right here. Oh man, I missed that dip. I'm going to buy 100 shares. I'm looking for, I will add into $4 if I need to here. I'm going to add into four. If this comes down to $4, this is possibly going to be one of my trades. And I will be buying 300 shares of this stock here. 300. Let's go. So glad you're back. Brian M. Pierce, I'm back, man. I tried options. Options just did not cut it. I thought it was a great, great plan to get this account to 25000 but I'm getting there. Look at, this is an entry right here. If you can trade as many times as you want, this is going to be an entry, an A plus entry right here, which I should probably enter this myself. I'm going to get in here just a minute. If it comes down for 20s, oh my gosh, this is going to be a beauty, man. I'm putting my order out there at $4.20. This could be my one and done for the day right here. Whoa. Let me try. Oh my gosh, man. $4.20. I was going to try $4.20 right there. That would have been a beautiful, beautiful A plus setup entry right there. $4.20 to $4.30. There's already some money in my pocket. This wouldn't have been a one and done because I still would have added down into $4. I would have done 100 shares, 100 shares, and then 200 shares. But I missed my initial entry right there. Where is the next trade on this stock? J-A-N is a beast. J-A-N, you can take some short trades on it also. This is going to have beautiful, beautiful short trades on it today. If you want to take shorts, look at this, man. Look at this thing go. There's an entry right here, $4.40. 440 right there. Beautiful entry again. Oh my gosh, man. 440, another beautiful, beautiful entry. Let's get this money all the way up. Day trading, low full small cap stocks straight from the watch list, the hot stocks of the day. This is entry, entry, entry. Look at that. Got 420 entry right there. Beautiful, man. Oh my gosh, where is the next entry? The five minute candle's getting a little overextended. This is all money right here. Definitely money. There it goes. Look at that. I'm going to have to get in. If it goes over $5, I'm definitely going to have to get in this. I don't want to. Uh, oh my gosh, man. Look how it got rejected right at $5 here. I think this could be the top for the day, actually, which is uh, troublesome. I, will, I just want to get my feet wet a little bit. Let's get my feet wet and jump in here. Let's get my feet wet. 585. I just need to get used to it. Get back on the horse. Man, I couldn't get in right there. Oh, well. If this comes down to the 450s, I could get in at 450s down here. Let's do it, actually. I'm going to put an order in at 455 right here. If this shoots down to 455, I'm definitely going to get into this trade. What, 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 we went in. Yeah, look at this, man. If it goes up over five, this is all beautiful entries. For anybody that has a larger account that is not bound by the PDT rule, you should be in this stock already. 
I'm waiting. I'm being patient. I'm going to wait for my correct entry. The best entry so far was the 420 entry. The next best entry, which is a C plus setup at, the, at its best, is down here by 460. If you can jump in right here, this is an entry right right here. 492 is an entry. If you can if you can move around a little bit, I'm kind of have my hands tied behind my back, but I can still make money on these stocks here. I, I told Monk once ago that day would come when he will stop trading options and go back to low flow stocks. That day has come. Hey, absolutely, man. The day has come. I'm ready to go. J A N, just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beast. This is an entry right here. Enter, enter, enter. 488, 490, add down into the 440s, 450s. That's going to be an add into if you need to. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful entry. There you go, all the way up to $5.04. Another great, great trade. I'm waiting for a correct entry. I have to wait. I want, all I need is one good trade today. One good trade, and I can jump in there. The market's not even open yet. I have plenty of time. There's going to be a trade. I'll show you my next trade. My next trade would be right down here. Right in this area. Boom. A five-minute pullback. It needs to pull back for five minutes. Five minutes, maybe ten minutes, all the way down to four. The best starter position is going to be down by the 460s down here. 460s is a great, great starter position. I'm going to wait. Welcome back, TTM. Live day trading, gold full small cap stock, straight from the watch list, the hot stocks of the day. My starting balance is $8,339. Take two. First account, basically trading options. Blew it up, man. I'm not going to lose no more money in options. I just can't do it. I can't afford to do that, man. I, I, I don't want to let the max down. I don't want to let the monkey army down. I don't want to let nobody down. So I, I can't continue where I was going. That is insanity. Keep trying to do the same thing and expecting different results. I did have a different game plan, though, actually. I'm sorry, but I'm moving to the mast. Investor, uh, Joey Beans. Oh, man, I, I'm not a quitter. What do you think, man? I'm not quitting. I'm not not quitting, Joey Beans. Okay, Joey Beans is done, man. Sorry, man. Joey's out. Boom, boom, boom. There he goes. Stay calm. Stop that. Oh, my God. Yes, I'm going to be a lot calmer. This is an entry right here, man. I'm going to I'm going to get into this thing very very shortly. So 100 I would have to do 75 actually. 70. You are not a clear you are a winner. A new direction is great. Yes, I don't want I expecting this is an entry right here. This is an entry right right here man. If it comes down look at the pullback on this. This is beautiful. Should I just jump in here? Oh my gosh, I'm going to be cool. I'm going to be calm. I'm going to be uh, collected, man. Good choice. Only take support. Yeah, man. Flush negativity. Any negativity? Eh. No, I, I don't care about the negativity. Just not promoting other situations. That's all I care about. That's the only rule I have. No promoting. That's it. Get in where you fit in. This is an entry right here, man. This is an entry right down to the VWAP. If this came down to, uh, oh my gosh, I'm going to put my order out there actually. Or I put an order at $4.24 right here. $4.24. Even though this is an entry right here on, on, on uh, JAN right here. JAN has a low float. This is a monster. This is a mover. What's the volume on JAN? Uh, I'm going to tell you it's right here. 946 volume. 953,000 volume. Right, right there. Let's get it. Let's see what happens out here, man. This is a beautiful entry right here. Here's another entry. 478, 480. This is an entry. I'm going to show you the trade that's in effect right now. It's right here. 480, enter, 
enter 480 boom this is an enter right here boom 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 oh this is an a plus setup right here actually if you can add into it 480 your ads will be as follows your ads ads for 60 boom and then 430 and then 430 worst case scenario right there those are your ads your profit plus 10 cents and above profit plus 10 cents and above thanks mark yeah what's the volume yeah the volumes uh 1.1 million volume and you guys know what jan has a 2 million float a 2 million float man 2 million float so i have my order out there at four dollars and 24 cents this is an entry but I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna wait for the market open. I, I know a perfect spot to do a one and done at. A beautiful, beautiful spot to do a one and done. J-A-N, uh, what I'm gonna try to do on this channel is keep us updated on all the low full small cap stocks that are moving. Losers hang with losers. Bye everyone here. Uh, Mitch says, man, let me show that for everybody. Losers hang with losers. Bye everyone. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> bye bye <laughs> bye bye mitch see you later man you'll be back i know it uh well f-a-m-i let's get this money all the way up man this is an entry 480 is the entry boom beautiful beautiful entry right here beautiful beautiful entry 480 it has a tight tight look at this man if you see a order come through here that has two three thousand shares on it oh there it is right there 480 boom 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 here we go if you got a better entry than 480 congratulations profit is plus 10 cents right here nice beautiful and perfect man i gotta be quick about my situations because you know why because though they're out to get me man they're coming for the money let's go let's get this money all the way up houston we out yeah get out of here man look what's good baby thought you were still doing options no no more options man i got to get this account where it needs to be maybe when my account gets a little bit higher i'll dabble in options a little bit more i'm just showing you low full small cap stocks i'm showing you the trades here look at that all the way up to 484 the ads would be 460 this is going to be, be a beautiful stock at the market open i'm going to get this money out here don't forget about TMBR either. This is another great stock. It's a sub dollar stock. So we have TMBR, JAN. JAN is beautiful, nice, and perfect, man. You guys know the, the entry is still good. 480 is still the good entry. This is still all good. Let's go back to your roots. Love it. Yeah, back to my roots. This is where I was a profitable trader and I and I moved on from it because i was trying to grow this account a little bit quicker i should have never done it i should have kept going getting this account to twenty five thousand. then i could have just short sold the stock market outright without having to try options i there's a great strategy short selling the stock market though but i just can't do it on this account it's a 85 percent win rate too but i just can't do it here it's too hard with options too much risk uh times 100 every contract is times 100 man back to the oh here we go there's your ad right oh my gosh man this is looking nice this is getting beautiful so if you're in at 480 your ad is 460 now your average is going to be 470 470 average last ad
430 boom I'm spending two thousand uh, dollars on each trade about two thousand two hundred dollars there you go there it was right there what a beautiful little dip trade right there beautiful 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 you took half of your profit so you don't have to add no more now now 470 average beautiful beautiful trade man if you can move around that was an a plus setup right there there was nothing about it be about it right there man i feel this window we'll see some life at yeah there's penny stocks moving right now man jan is a beautiful beautiful stock my uh i don't know why i can't switch i can't do nothing with this this thing's frozen again my computer something's wrong with my computer I don't know what it is. So there you go. Take half of your profit at 490, 480 right there. Just nice, beautiful, and perfect. And if I could get this, my epic pen is frozen on the screen. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Boom. There we go. So a beautiful little trade right there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful little trade. 470 average all the way up to 490 right there. Just nice, beautiful, and perfect. What are we going to be looking at for the market open? Anybody that's here for the very first time, what you're seeing in front of your very eyes is my one-minute chart, five-minute chart, 15-minute chart, level two, time and sales. And this is my active trader where I buy and sell shares at each and every day. What am I looking for at the market open? Anything down here by $4.00. If this stock does an open washout boom down to four, I'm going to jump in there. And this could be my trade of the day right at the market open. Actually, here we go, man. Here we go. This is going to be it. Morning, Monk. I knew options were going to bring you down. Bad mistake are multiplied by 100. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. If I would still be trading the stock market, that would only been $600. But times 100, I lost 6,000 bucks, man. Not good overall. So I'm right back to the starting. Starting balance is $8,339. All the way up. Nothing can stop us, man. If I'm going to add into a position, I will do a 112 add into the long side on JAN. But if I do do an ad, I will have to start with, I'm going to take it easy on my first day out here. I'm going to trade a third of the size, actually. A third of the spies. I'm going to spend about 500 on each trade just for today. Well, Monk, it was really 6000 Yeah, about 6000 bucks over six months' time is what I lost. I lost 4000 on on Friday, on Thursday. But I meant for the last six months, I'm down about $6,000. And that's almost half of my account. So I got to stop. I can't, I can't keep the insanity going. I just can't do it. IMPP is going up too. IMPP is going up, up and away. So here we go. Let's get this money. Day, live day training. Grammarly really is the GOAT. Greatest of all time. I'm so happy to be here, man. I'm very humbled by this experience. Uh, AMD is going up. AMD is going to be a beautiful short sell today. I just want you guys to know that. AMD is definitely going to be a beautiful, beautiful short trade. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful short trade, man. Right up there. 110, I would say 105 to 110 for AMD. A plus setup short. I cannot believe the SPY went over 410 either. I uh, Recently, I've been getting wrecked out here a little bit. Let's put this on GTC. Day, I'm ready to go on JAN. So many good trades already. You should have your account in the green right now on JAN. JAN. I'm looking for the open washout boom right down into the $4, 420s here. And I'm going to buy it right there. We have 20 seconds till the market opens. This clock is actually about 10 seconds fast. We will be back, brother. Yeah, we'll be back. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Neutral1980. I know the short side is a great, great place to be. Sorry, man. 
Here we go. 10 seconds till the market opens. 9, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ding, 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 ding. The market is open. What? Oh my gosh, I could not, I messed up right there. I took one green trade out the gate right there. Got $6.75. I bought the dip right there at $4.60. I was up $20, $15 right there. It got all messed up. It got all messed up because my order was at $110 on an accident. Oh my gosh, man. I bought 90 shares. I, I thought I was buying 100. Oh well, that's okay. Man, can you guys believe the first green trade out the market? Beautiful, beautiful trade. CTT going up. CTT high alert. CTT high alert. CTT is high alert. CTT is high alert. Has a 45 million float. 45 million float, man. This is definitely not one I'm going to trade, though. I'm going to trade J-A-N. Look at this. Look at that, man. What am I looking for for the next trade right there? Yeah, this has about a five-second delay on it. Let's get the next trade. Let's find out what's going on. I messed up on my first trade. I was up 20 cents right there. Had $20 in my pocket. Just trading the stock market. Took my first trade. Got a green trade out there. If this goes over 504, I'm going to look for my next trade of your account. And it will scale up with account value. Yeah, 10% of my account, man. That's what I'm doing. So I, I bought 100 shares. I spent about $500. I have about $1,500 left. Wow, 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 wow. Boom, another green trade right there. I just bought the dip down to 450. I made 26 bucks so far today. I didn't even size into my trades really yet. A little trade right there. I'm just taking quick little scalps out of the market. J-A-N, just beautiful, beautiful trade right there. So I made my 20 bucks for today, so I'm very happy with that. Made a little bit more than 20 bucks today. G-O-V-X, yeah, there's H-U-S-A is kind of moving around. C-T-T is moving around if you're looking. Look at A-M-D, beautiful short sell on A-M-D. A-M-D, beautiful, beautiful short sell. So J-A-N is definitely looking good. Let me put my trades up here so you guys can see them. I got in around 450, sold right up into that little trade right there. This is how I trade. This is what I know how to make money on. Look at J-A-N, another little dip trade right there. Thank you, man. Live day trading, low full small cap stocks. J-A-N is money, money, and money right there. So I made a little bit of money there. Let me uh, show my trades out here. Show trades, apply, boom. So now you guys can see I basically got in at 450, made about 14 cents a share so far overall on 200 shares. Not AMD short. Yeah, AMD was a short, beautiful short. Look at AMD, man. Look at. This is what happens when I don't trade it. J-A-N going up, up, and away. And for you max out there, let's get some more money. This is a beautiful stock right here. J-A-N by the 460s. This is support right here by 460. 460 to 470. It looks like it's going to go up into a halt possibly. 460s being a little bit choppy, but a lot of buyers in this. The volume is over 3 million, 10 million, 11 million. The float has been rotated. This thing is a monster. This thing is a powerhouse. This thing is a beast, man. There's short sellers trading this. There's long bias traders trading this. If I was going to short sell JAN, I would be short selling JAN. I would be short selling right up here by five to six dollars would be my short sell spot for JAN. Where is the next trade on this stock? 
we're gonna get in we're gonna find out we'll get over there so made 26 bucks today not a, not a lot of money but that's okay that's good 26 is better than losing money i am spending wasting my buying power is how i feel i still got quite a bit of buying power left actually <clears throat> here we go powerhouse monster beast all the way up live day trading low full small cap stock straight from the watch list let's look for our next trade where is our next trade gonna be well our next trade we could definitely try to get back in here by the 450s 450s is a little bit of support right here 450 to five dollars 450 to five 460 to 480s 460 to 480s if it comes down to four dollars that's going to be another spot here's 460 right here 465 you could get in right here not a bad little trade right there either let me show you this trade actually i'm going to jump into this just with small share size now 460 oh man i should be getting in this that was a beautiful little entry right there, 460 to 470s there. Good little trade right there. Good little scalp trade right there. Look at that. Beautiful. This thing's looking powerful. This thing's looking beasty. This thing is a monster from the get. A monster from the get. Get in where you fit in, fool. This is where we make our money. This is what we come for. The excitement. The excitement, the acceleration of low full small cap stocks to the moon parabolic. <laughs> Hands raised, days raised. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. Coming home, man. Coming on home. Feeling good being here, sitting in my seat, man. I'm very humbled, though. You guys know that. I'm very humbled by this experience. Here's another trade, 460s. We could get back in here at 463 here. 463. Oh my gosh, man. I'm going to put my order out here at $4.63. There we go. 463 to 473. 463 to 473. Boom, boom, boom. So 4.63. My stop is going to be at 4.63 now. Looking for this to come back up here. 4.63. Come on. Keep on going. Get up there. You can make it, man. 4.63 to 4.72 so far. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I took half of my profit off for plus 10 cents or plus 7 cents. That's a little green trade, not that big a deal right there. Just trying to get a little bit of money out here. Not really. Here's another trade, 460s. Let's see. It's looking a little bit heavy. Be careful. Be be careful, man. 450s. Oh my gosh, look at that trade right there. 455. I got to try to get in at $4.55. Oh man, A plus setup. Beautiful, beautiful entry. One and done trade right here. That could have been a 400 share position right there. 400 share. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Beautiful trade. Beautiful, beautiful trades right there. Beautiful, beautiful freaking trades, man. I need to size into these again. I'm not I'm not wasting. I'm not buying uh, baby shares on this. I can't do it. Look at that trade. Oh my gosh, man. It's the thrill of the trade. It's the thrill of the fight. We're going to make a lot of money. I'm going to come out with the song. I'm going to I'm going to make some videos on how can we make a little extra money to put into our account. Look at that trade right there. That was a A, A plus setup, man. I should have stayed in this trade, actually. Man, I should have added right there. A plus setup right off the VWAP. Push up. It needs to get up over $5 now. So your next trade is going to be, if it goes up over 504, this may go right into a halt. 
ENSV is going up. Stock ENSV is moving up. His IMPP is going up a little bit here. Let's make sure JAN has the money though. JAN, man. ENSV, ENSV, high alert. ENSV, high alert. The float on ENSV is 11 million. It is moving up. It is going. I have traded this many times in the past. ENSV, a little bit light on volume. I'm going to stay with the high, uh, high volume out there. But stock ENSV, definitely good. JAN has support resistance, just like we're saying. Support. 450s now resistance is still up towards five dollars 450 to five dollars good trade where are you gonna buy if you're looking to buy in this thing you're looking to buy down here into the 450s 440s right here you're looking to buy that would be your entry you could put an order out there if you wanted to welcome back to penny land well, thanks man thank you thank you and thank you man trying to get this money here this is where i was a profitable trader so i might as well get in there options can be very very profitable but options are very very hard to trade I mean, uh, but short selling the market is an A plus strategy error every single time. Thank you guys for being here. Monk the Uber driver, you guys know where is support at? We could put an order out here at $4.55. $4.55. I'll show you this order. $4.55. We'll put a little order out here. And we'll let it sit out here. There is a, it's starting to get a little bit more support at 465. So if you wanted to get in a little early at 465, it definitely would be okay. And don't forget about HUSA and ENSV. This one's still moving. ENSV, HUSA, MARPS, kind of too. This one did pop up a little bit. Keep MARPS on your list. Just so you guys know the stocks that are moving. Where the heck is MARPS on mine? I need to put that up here. MARPS. We're going to get back over to, uh, to uh, MARPS right there. Okay, ENSV stock. ENSV, remember that one too. Go short, Monk. Yeah, let's do it, man. So you guys know, MARPS is definitely moving up. Let's get this. My INDO, high alert. It is a $20 stock, $19 stock. INDO can make you a lot of money on lower priced. On I'm going to cancel my order. It looks like some volume may be going over to INDO and possibly MARPS. So keep these stocks on watch. Keep them on your highlight list, especially MARPS and INDO. ENSV is also moving up, but kind of low volume, not worth it. MARPS does have low volume, but it is moving up good. It is moving up powerful. It is getting up here. Up over $10 is going to be a trade there. Don't forget about JAN though. JAN still has a beautiful trade right here. Still has beautiful, beautiful money on it. J-A-N, M-A-R-P-S, there it goes. Here we go, M-A-R-P-S, man. We need to get over there. Over 10, that's a trade. There is a trade on this. I'm just gonna show you right now. Oh, it's kind of light volume though. But the current bar has 65,000. This is kind of sketchy, low volume. I'm gonna say no trade for myself. HUSA, the float on HUSA is 9 million. This is an A plus stock to be trading also. HUSA, energy, good stock, good situation, good investment even. And remember, stock IMPP is a sub dollar stock. It's 63, 64 cents, but it's getting ready to hit pre market high status on IMPP. <clears throat> HUSA, definitely a beautiful, beautiful stock. Good for the short side, good for the long side. This is beautiful, beautiful money. IMPP, let's see if we can find another trade out here. I'm actively looking for trades, but I'm waiting for the volume. I'm waiting for everything to settle down a little bit, and maybe we'll find some trades off of support. 
Like I uh, look at this. Here we go again. J A N. I'm gonna jump in here at four dollars and sixty cents. I'm in at four dollars and sixty cents. I will add down into four forty. My first profit's gonna be four seventy one. Four sixty one. Uh, actually, around four seventy will be my first profit target here. Remember, HUSA is a monster, monster, monster. Come on. I'm in at $4.55 now. I'll reduce my risk a little bit here. And we will see. So I'm in at $4.51. This, this could be a little bit sketchy, but it's still a good trade here. Still a beautiful, beautiful trade off the 440s. It's trying to break below the VWAP though. HUSA and MARPS is coming up a little bit. I'm reducing my risk a little at, at a little bit of a loss there. Here we go. Um, reduce my risk right there. Going to get out of that trade. That's a red trade. It got below the VWAP. I didn't like how it was moving. I thought it was a beautiful trade. $4. It could come all the way back down to $4. This is a support line, but I'm a little bit sketched out on it. So I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Uh, quick stops are my intention. But if I need to add into a trade, I was willing to add into the 440 level from 460 just to try to get my average around 450 and see if this thing would pop back up here it's still a good trade i'm just not trusting it that much right there still a beautiful beautiful trade though need to let some of these trades play out that's okay man but take protect your account take profits yes absolutely man that's what i'm gonna do if i have to take a loss i will take a loss and that's what i did remember HUSA, is it an A-plus setup short trade? Possibly. CTT, still moving up, slowly grinding. This is one of those ones, a Michael and Grecia trade, where you can get in on the long side and just keep on taking a few cents of profit, recycle, add profit on CTT to the long side. You could jump in at the 1180s, maybe add down into the 1150s, maybe wait for the 1150s for your entry. J-A-N-N. -N. Yeah, H-U-S-A is a definite good short trade right there. Look at that. HUSA man, I you could take it short right here at five twenty, five dollars and twenty cents. I I would add all the way up into six dollars if I had to. Five twenty short, take your profit at five ten, and let the rest ride down. M A R P S. Yeah, HUSA definitely looking look in the pre market. This has been grinding up. It does have a lot of support to me. If this came down to 450 level, that would be an A plus setup just for a little bit of guaranteed uh, money to the long side. It's definitely going to bounce a little bit. So the closer I could get into the 450s, the better. If this gets up over 550, I will take some momentum trades to the long side, even though there'll be some good short trades out there too. But uh, there just isn't a trade in this area for me, only on the short side. Let's see if there's anything else going on. J-A-N being a slow grinder down here. And J-A-N, I like it. It's a good entry. I like the $4 more here. $4 is definitely, it's looking a little better. A lot of people made money this morning on J-A-N. This is just a monster, monster, monster. Look at the volume. Is it done for the day? I don't believe so. But be careful. Has a lot of support at four. The next support is at three. But five dollars definitely was close to the top. Matt Monk, Mattel Monk, uh, M A T. What? M A T. 
Wow, man. I want to short sell this thing. I want to short sell this thing, man. Mattel, look at this. Oh my gosh, man. Boom, 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 man. M-A-T, definitely a good one, but I like J-A-N. We'll get out there. We'll see. Yeah, uh, KT, you're right, man. We're live day trading low full small cap stocks. That's what I'm sticking to. That was one mistake I did on when I was trading options. If I'm going to trade options, I need to stick to the large cap, mega cap stocks and don't even pay attention to the low floaters. I should have had my full focus on where I was trading and I didn't. Look at this. I don't think JAN is done for the day. Has 16 million. This is a beautiful stock. We've traded this one at least 100 times. This is a beautiful one to short sell at times too. HUSA. Let's get back over there. Look at it, man. Look at that trade. I guess that was a long trade. If it gets up over the 543s, which is the pre-market high. Oh, JAN too. Look at this. Ugh, this is what I'm talking about a recycle ad profit trade this is one of those ones even though I stopped out for a loss this could have definitely been a winner if I had enough buying power to add down into four dollars just getting my average lower lower and lower and then taking profit for the next attempt for five dollars up there but no Hey, love to, uh, oh my gosh, Naked HD, you are out, man. Let's get this money. Sorry, guys, for all the uh, situations out here. Let's go. Let's get this money all the way. Rolling B, sorry, man. Trying to make some money out here. Made 25 bucks today, definitely, but nothing else. And you guys know, when I root into the earth, the earth rises to support me. Waiting for the next trades out here. TMBR, nothing, nothing, man. Not right now. TMBR definitely is a good, good stock. 63 million flow. This is basically like GFAI. It's kind of a slow mover. This is gonna be one where you could take a trade on this, but it's gonna be a slow trade. Look at it, all the way up to 38 cents. A lot of support down here at 30 cents. This could be one you could add into 30 cents. This is a swing trade. Definitely TMBR is a swing, swing, swing trade, but uh, just not something I want to day trade right now. Looking for the next stock to trade out here. Trying to find something out here. KAVL went up a little bit here. INDO, I'm going to put up KAVL on a, on a chart up here. OXY all the way to 74. KAVL, I love to trade this one. Whack the trolls, you're only at 9K now. Yes, Antone's videos, I'm doing the best I can each and every day. Rowan B, thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the team. We're going to be doing some great things out here. I'm sorry, guys, for the options. If I wasn't trading options, my account most likely would be at about $18,000 right now. Eighteen dollars to $20,000 right now. So by Christmas, we're going to see where we can get at. HUSA high alert. HUSA high alert. HUSA is high, high alert. So I'm going to spend four, five, six, seven, three thousand. So one thousand five dollars, twelve dollars, one fifty, seventy five, fifty. I'll buy 50 shares of HUSA. Oh, that's CTT. That's that slow grinder. Here's HUSA. This is going to be a dip trade, a dip trade into the 540s, 550s. Looking for a little dip into 550s here. And I'm going to take this for the push up to six. Let's see what happens here. Boom, 
555. Come on, you can do it. 543 is going to be my stop right there. Five forty three is my stop. Five dollars and forty three cents is my stop. Come on, let's go, man. There we go. Five sixty three. Come on, I, I kind of got a high entry, but that's okay, that's fine. Five I'm stopping. I'm stopping out of that trade too. It didn't do what I wanted in the amount of time. It's doing a five minute pullback. It may do a 10 minute pullback there. So I just would rather stop out of this. It's definitely doing a beautiful five minute pullback though. If I could get back in, I will get back in though. I don't like it. I would rather just stop out right there and try to get back in if it comes down to the 520s. Thought it was a good trade. Just not working out that good. Not working out. Man, I should have probably stayed in this one. Still a good trade. This was a momentum-based trade, though. And momentum-based trades need a definite quick resolution. If it's not going to give me a quick resolution, I'm just going to move on about my day. A hybrid lucky trade, no doubt. Yeah. Made 950 bucks on my spy, made 31 puts. Good job, man. I held and then did the monkey. I averaged down big time right when the bell rang. Had 50 contracts at 45, sold out at 410. Good job, man. Look at that. The spy, perfect. Good morning. Oh my gosh, look at this. Didn't give it time to work out. I, I didn't like how it was sitting there. See those two minutes, three minutes? I should give it five minutes of time. Still a beautiful, beautiful trade. Oh my gosh, man. Ah, uh, I just, I, I had my stop where I was supposed to set my stop, but I changed my mind in the middle. And now look, paying for it. RDBX, show me the boom, boom, boom. What? RDBX, let's go look at that one. RDBX is all the way down at seven. It's right where it's supposed to be at, though. So I just don't see a trade on it. Here's another trade right here. I could get in right here, actually. Boom. $5.54. Looking for this to go up over five sixty four dollars here. Looking for this to go right up over 564, 574, 584. Trying to put my stop down at the 540s. 540s is going to be my stop on this trade here. Looking for it to come down. JAN is coming down a little bit more. 554. Not really seeing that good of trades. This is a little bit sketchy of a trade, but it's still a good, good trade. Nope, coming back down again, man. I thought it was going to go over. We have about one minute until this five-minute candle uh, stops, and we'll see if the next candle is going to make it up over this. Definitely need to hold on for this five minutes here now. We'll see. Might add into this a little bit more, actually. Boom. Five thirty-eight. 
548, 538, 528. We'll see what happens here. Here's the five minute pullback. We'll see if the next five minute candle is going to come down on it. Trying to see what's going to happen here. I should be adding one more time again. Below that candle is my stop point, 533. Just giving money back out here now. Going to do one more add into this. 533. 527 would be my next ad, $5.27. Trying to see what happens here. Come on, you can make it. It's right down by the VWAP here. Let me see what's going on out here. Here we go. HUSA is a little bit risky of a trade for sure. Boom, boom, boom. Double bottom. We'll see what happens on HUSA. This could be, oh, JAN, $4 entry, 420 entry right there on JAN. JAN has a $4 entry. This is an entry for JAN. This is another great trade right here. I need to be waiting for A plus setups and stopping out quicker if the stock is going to be uh, stopping out. CTT still going up. It's a Michael and Greasy special here still. CTT is a still a Michael and Greasy special. Come on. HUSA looks like this 10 minutes it's just going to trend down possibly now not really looking the best Uh, going to add into this, see if it's going to be a 10-minute candle. JAN is definitely a good trade. HUSA may trend down the rest of the day now. What a beautiful short sell on this thing, though. Beautiful, beautiful short. I must have missed some 833. Not yet. Yeah, Joseph Bill, last week I lost some money right there. 827. Trying to add into this a little bit. 821, 521, come on. Oh, this is a good entry for HUSA. If you're just looking for an entry, this is a beautiful, beautiful entry for HUSA. Beautiful entry for this one too. Here we go. J-A-N, A plus setup also right there. Yeah, I, Joseph Bell, I lost uh, $4,000 on Thursday. So I reset. I went to where I'm a profitable trader, back to low full small cap stocks. I'm working on $20 a day here. And then from there, we'll see. HUSA, maybe this is at the top for the day. HUSA does do this quite often. It looks like the sellers are just on this. And I'm going to see. Look at this. It's not popping up at all. No pops. J-A-N is an A plus setup long trade. A plus setup long trade. $4.18. This thing may go into a halt. It may go into a halt to the upside all the way back up to $5 right there. H-U-S-A. Come on. Man, I'm just getting out of this one too. Another red trade. Three trades in a row. HUSA is right on support. If you're looking to get in, this is a good entry. Why didn't I wait for that entry? I, because this is, this is a trade where I would recycle, add profit down into it. But, oh man, I should have just stayed away from it. So J-A-N... I'm, I'm up my $20 for the day. I'm happy with what I did today. I will only take a trade if it's a good setup now. Let's go. But we are focused now. Yeah. Uh, 
HUSA is an A plus setup long trade right where it sits at. 525, 528, A plus setup long trade right there for the push up to $6. JAN, A plus setup, if you could have got in by the 418s here, would have been A plus setup there too. HUSA and JAN, both A plus setups. Let's do it, man. Stuff, ha yeah, stuff happens. Six months, my account should be back up to over sixteen thousand dollars in about six months' time, and then we'll see what we'll do from that point forward. Thank you, guys, all that have been hanging in here. Is there any really good trades out here? HUSA, I think this is a good trade. It does have support way down here. I bought 70 shares. It just didn't do what I wanted it to. Some trades don't work out, and that's absolutely fine. As long as you keep your stops, I lost about eight cents overall on this trade. And to me, that's a very variable, doable situation. I can show you one trade though on T. Look at this. CTT, look at this trade. 12.30 right there. This is a little trade too. Man, J-A-N. Let's, let's make sure we're being a little bit patient out here. Now, K-A-V-L. Not trying to force any more trades. I made 20 bucks for the day. I'm happy with it. By June 3rd, 400 puts, 125 on deck. If we break 410, 440, then room back to 408, 50s. John Wayne, good job, man. There are some good uh, good options trades out there. I apologize, everybody that's trading options now. There's some great, great money in options. My account just can't handle the risk. I'm sorry. If they are one setup, why aren't you taking them? Uh, because they're just not my type of... These trades are definite. Oh man, why didn't I take that though? I don't know why I did not take that. Or, oh my gosh, man. I can't believe I, I had another chance on JAN right there. Look at that. Oh, oh, go, go, go. JAN is the one I should stay with. HUSA. Definitely A plus setup on it. Just not. It, it's A plus if you want to capture six cents of profit on HUSA. A plus if you want six cents of profit. I don't. J A N is one I want to stay with though. Oh my gosh, man. Here we go again. Here we go, man. I'm saying the same thing. Yeah, I, I mean, if you want six cents of profit, look at. J-A-N was an A-plus setup right there, $4. This is still a good trade. Even if you were in from back here at the 460s, adding down into this is an A-plus. This is all one trade if you wanted to. This is all one, one trade. Add, add, recycle, add, profit, boom. Beautiful, beautiful trade. My account can't handle that though. What am I looking for for the next trade? Well, is it going to reclaim the VWAP, get above the VWAP? This is a W, Paul DeVal W pattern right here. Boom, 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 boom. And you guys know where I usually get in. I usually get in, if it breaks up over the VWAP, I'll be looking for a little scalp trade up there. K-A-V-L. So I'm waiting for my entry. If this gets back up over 450, I'm going to try to get in up over 450s. On stop it. Yeah, I mean, six cents of profit on HUSA just is not happening for me. I tried it. I tried it a few different times. It did not work out for me. Look at this. Look at JAN. This is a monster, man. Uh, who's going to get in for the push of the VWAP? It's stretched out on the five minute chart. Who would trade that right there? Who would trade a push through the VWAP setup? Hmm, let me think about this. Hashtag get your groove on. Hashtag VW bus. Rum, rum, rum. Rum. Let's go, ma'am. Max num for your bomb. Let's get this money. Look at JAN. Definitely a beautiful, beautiful trade, man. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it.
we're we're gonna do this we're getting our money out here you guys know that let's go let's wait for our setups this time i took a, a couple little sketchy setups husa is still a good setup in my opinion 442 resistance yeah look at this what is the high of that candle 458 if this gets up over the 460s at really quickly you guys know this one can move how far can this move a minute 20 to 40 cents a minute easily on jan let's go muln is hot today i don't see that one myself but fami was moving up too a little bit here TXMD, I think that was a split. JAN or buyout, one of the two. JAN is the top, top stock here. JAN. Let me see. MLTX is moving up a little bit here. Here's the push through the VWAP. Let's see what's going to happen. We'll wait. We'll wait, wait, wait. Yeah, MLTX is definitely moving up a little bit. Low volume, no trade for myself. So just going to sit here and stew and find out what I'm going to look for. JAN, look at this. Look at this. It's above the 9 EMA. Could you get in right here at $4.35? Yes. On a bigger account, this is definitely, definitely, definitely an entry, but you're going to keep your stop at four dollars and probably 20 cents if you got in at 430 433 you're going to be looking for a quick stop by the 425s you're going to look for immediately this to push through the vwap there it is a trade it is a trade just not on my account it's not an a plus husa i hope you guys got your money on this one definitely a good good trade here definitely a beautiful beautiful trade SIGA, yeah, SIGA has been good. Let me keep that one up on a watch list actually again. SIGA, SIGA moving up. It's at $12.15 right now. Good call on that one, Eric Grade. Uh, SIGA has support at $11.87. It's up over $12 right now. But look at JAN here. Look at this. Look at this beautiful entry. So if you got in at $4.35, definitely you can take profit wherever you feel fit. But you probably got in by the 4.33s. You could take seven cents of profit if it's not doing what you want. But me, I can't really do it. Let's go, man. Let's get this money all the way to the top, all the way parabolic there. Parabolic to the moon, man. Hey, hey, sex addict, it's great to see you, man. Great, great to see you. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get J-A-N. Is this going to pop up? S-I-G-A is definitely popping up. Definitely a good stock to trade. We're going to wait. We're going to see. C-T-T is definitely moving up also. Please hit the like button. YouTube loves it and I love it too. E-M-B-R, S-I-G-A, C-T-T, definitely ctt has a little support by 12 you could add in ctt has a good long trade on it start a position at 1210 add into 1150 on ctt let's do it block naked guy yeah the dawn yeah did i do it i don't know man let's see oh yeah i got it never mind yeah i got it man CTT is definitely a good trade too. I'm trying to wait for my A plus setup statuses out here and then we'll go from there. You did, yeah. QQQ and Apple are following. Yeah, let's see if there's any, let's see what is going on in the, let's wait here for JAN. Look at this, just consolidating. Look at this volume. Look at this volume, man nothing 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 whoever got in on these two dip trades are trying to hold it up but they're also trying to take profit to for the next push up time to add then yep time to add i'm waiting for money i'm waiting out here we're going to get this money all the way up to one million dollars 
Sorry guys, just trying to earn. What am I trying to do? Some of you guys haven't heard this yet. I'm trying to earn $20 a day. I'm trying to earn $100 a week. I'm going to be adding $100 a week. In six months time, I should grow this account about $6,000. If I only make $20 a day, uh, but who knows, I'll start making more. As my account gets a little bigger, I'll start making more money, more money, more money, $50 a day, $30 a day. Right now, my account is just sitting perfect for about $20 a day. Let's do it, man. Yeah, how about Nancy Pelosi? Oh my gosh, Chris Roca, I heard that, man. Nancy Pelosi's husband got busted for DUI. 82 uh, years old, driving a hot rod. Let's see what else is going on out there. L let me look at this. Oh, I need to get back over to J-A-N. Look at this, J-A-N. Man, am I going to take a trade on this thing, man? If this thing comes back down, $354, man, this is, it's below the VWAP. So this is going to be a little bit more risky below the VWAP. Below the VWAP. ENSV high alert. ENSV high alert. It's starting to go up a little bit. ENSV, the push through the VWAP trade on ENSV. Let's go look at it. ENSV, push through the VWAP trade. Boom. <laughs> Perfect trade, man. Let's go, man. J A N. And for you, Max, I'm still in uh, Facebook. I'm profit. I'm in the profit right now. Do you see? Yeah, I I stream live trades every single day. Uh, I did do options for about six months. Doing options for six months, I averaged about a thousand dollar loss per month for the last six months. If you would average it out which to me is not a profitable strategy if I'm gonna be losing that. On low full small cap stocks, I averaged about, I would say about $20 a day, but that's okay for the last uh, couple years. But that was okay too. So we'll, we'll see how this, uh, that's why I'm back on low full small cap stocks, really just getting in where I fit in, man. You guys know how we get down. J-A-N is just a beautiful, beautiful, look at that little bit of volume, 58,000. And this thing just powered up right there. This is a beautiful entry. Look at this. Look what we're seeing right here. I'm gonna blow up this chart, maximize sell. Here's what we're seeing, boom. W, boom, 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 boom. Retest of five. At least a retest of five up there. It is below the VWAP. That purple line on my chart is the VWAP. If you're going to get in somewhere, where are you going to get in? You're going to try to get in right here. And your stop is going to be below $4. Your stop will probably be at 380 that's where my stop would be 380. If I if I did a starter position at four dollars and fifteen cents, I would add into the 380s and then I would stop out below that. That is definitely a good trade for J A N here. J A N is definitely a good trade. Definitely, definitely. H U S A failed, so that would be a definite stop now. LCID going LCID man LCID option put trade Here we go, but Nancy is known to be a party girl from way back <laughs> I didn't know that man. Look at this. Look at this go man push through the VWAP here. We come again. I Already told you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little scalp trade Right up over, if this gets up over the 460s, 458s, I'm gonna look for a little pullback into the 450s and I'm gonna jump in right there for the retest of 470, 480, 490, $5. <clears throat> Here we go, look at this. Look at it go, man. Look at the volume come in. Look at the volume come in. 
Boom, boom, boom. They have a little bit more. Retest of VWAP right there. Good money. He'll never do a day in jail. There's a cop going to lose his job. Yeah, there's a cop going to lose his job. Nobody likes the cops right now for some reason. You need cops, man. You got to have cops. LCID, look at that thing. Look at this. J-A-N going up, up and away. J-A-N, here we go. Let's do it. Let's go, man. Let's find this money out here and see what happens out here. Best thing that's ever happened to that cop. I'll be my own cop. I'll be my own cop. <laughs> yeah, be your own cop, man. You guys know I had to leave a live stream before. And you guys, you Max, you know we're going to do an extra uh, live stream at some point. Uh, whatever day you guys want to do it. Hang on, the, the bot's back. Thank you, Roland B. Thank you, man. The bot's back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good cops, not tyrants. Let's get this money. J-A-N. All the way up, man. Look at that. A little push through the VWAP. That was a beautiful trade right there. You could have took your profit. You jump in at 440. Take your profit at 447. A lot of people can't do that, though. They don't trade big enough share size. But here we go. Look at this. Look at this monster, man. J-A-N. It's just a beautiful, beautiful monster. How high is it going to go today? Is it going to go to $7? Is it going to go to $8? Is this a spot to start building a position? Is this a spot to start building a position? Anywhere between $4, 380s, 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 and 430s? Is that somewhere to build a position? 380s and 430s is that a good spot definitely a possibility if you're looking for momentum we'll have to wait and see you guys know on mltx there's a one and done trade on mltx eight dollars but it is below the vwap here we go look at it boom another beautiful little dip trade going up up and away here Boom, boom, boom. Look at this thing, man. They're trying to do it very carefully so they can step on it whenever they want. Here we go. Here we go, man. Getting higher and higher and higher. Is there a catalyst for Jan? Well, let's look at the catalyst. Jan doesn't need a catalyst a lot of times. Let's look. Announced it sold GeoTrack to SPYR Technologies in a 13.5 million transaction. Yes, Catalyst is in effect. You guys know CTT is a low uh, a trade that is very consistent trade. Michael and Greasy at CTT to the long side. Depends. Yeah, let's go, man. We're, we're just sitting here. We're waiting for the trade. Where is the next trade for J-A-N? Well, you guys know where I'm going to try to get it at. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, look what's happening. Boom. Draw this trend line. Boom. It's already above the trend line. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Breakout. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Trend, the trend is your friend. The trend is your friend. Has a lot of resistance up here. Has a lot of resistance by the 460s to 480s up there. A lot, a lot of resistance. Is it going to get up over all that? Is it going to go? Definitely, definitely a possibility. Let's go AMC popping back up. Yeah, AMC, man. I got that on watch too. AMD's going back up too, man. AMD trying to capture my heart. Trying to capture my heart. AMD is a trade again too. AMD. Look at this. Look at this. Look how easy this looks. Buy at 440. Sell at 450. 
buy at 440 sell at 5 450 10 cents a profit your stop is gonna be right there at 438 if you get in at 440 your stops gonna be 437 oh coming down look at it breaking down that's what I don't like that's why I try to add into these things oh breaking down double top that's an entry right there though 438 439 440 right here oh my gosh what an entry right there beautiful entry beautiful beautiful entry i should have got it amd going up up and away always look after the fact yeah this is a beautiful trade right here 438 439 440 where is your stop going to be? I would recycle add profit all the way down into here if I had to. The 420s, that's an add into spot. If you're looking for a trade, is it going to bounce at the 420? Well, it has a lot of support down here for the push up to $5 or whatever. That would be an add into, but I'm not taking it. I'm not doing it too untrustworthy right now the volume look at the volume one person can be doing this one person can be moving this thing if you have enough money this is a simple trade for you you can you can make this look however you want man amd man amd look at this look at this if this thing spikes up to 106, 107, that's going to be an A, 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 A plus setup short trade. Always looks good after the fact. Yeah, look at it, man. Look how many times it bounced right here at 440. 440, you could have seen it bounce right here. You've seen it bounce one time right here. Boom. And then your next entry was right there. Then you could have entered right there boom or you could have entered right there boom 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 look at this thing man so i'm gonna try to look for a trade you guys know what i'm waiting for you guys know what i'm looking for husa coming back up from five dollars five dollars right there look at that look at that support on husa look at this Boom, boom, boom. Man, this is still a recycle ad profit trade. Slower mover. HUSA can be a slower mover. JAN, let's see. Look at it pop back up here. Look at this. Nice double bottom on the spy. Yep, 410, 411. That is the support. Once it got over there, I had to stop out. I thought the whole market was going to come down. The market's a lot stronger than I thought it was, truthfully. A lot, lot stronger. I didn't think it would ever, ever, ever see 411 the, the rest of this year, but it did. So I'm moving on. I'm, my, my analysis is kind of wrong, so I had to reassess the situation out there. Today, definitely 411 is the support, though. As long as it can hold 410, 411 right there, that is a long trade. <clears throat> Look at this. J-A-N. It had so much volume earlier. I'm going to wait until I can't wait no more. 20, 20 bucks today, not too bad. Let's see what my account's sitting at. Did I make 20 bucks today? Yep, I made $19 today. Even after taking three losses, I still made $20 there. I was up $25, but took a couple losses out there. I, I don't know if you guys remember. I'm going to tell this story anyways. But anyways, I had some wild dogs. I thought they were wild dogs. 
<clears throat> the neighbor had some wild dogs there too. HUSA popping back up. What a beautiful trade on HUSA. And JAN popping back up. Look at this. JAN high alert. JAN. Look at that. Look at that entry right there. 430, 420s all the way back up. But anyways, I thought I had wild dogs around here. The neighbor down there has some sort of sheep or something. Had a couple of the sheep killed. I had one of my baby goats killed. Hold on. Here we go. Look at J-A-N making a move. J-A-N making a move. J-A-N. Why did the account not showing the original 14K? Uh, blown up, Diego Alejandro. Blown up account. I'm calling it a blown up account. Six months I traded options and lost $6,000. I basically lost $1,000 every single month I traded options. So I'm saying take two. Account take two, man. My account's blown up. Last time I started an account with $440. I grew it all the way up to $14,000. And then I moved over to options. And I soon after basically blew it up. I lost $6,000, so I'm saying it blew up. I'm starting all over. This time, instead of starting with $440, I'm starting with $8,400 or $300. So I'm starting 20 times what I started with last time. And you guys remember last time how much I could make a day? I could make $2, so I should be making $40 a day. Here we go, HUSA. Oh, man. Here it goes. Here we go. Here we go. J A N all the way up, man. Looking forward to get up over the 460s and then do a little pullback. 460s and then a pullback. There it goes. Here we go. Come on. Give me an entry. Give me an entry. If it doesn't give me my entry, I just won't take it. Come on. Come on. Give me a little entry. Oh my gosh, man. You could jump in at 453, 455. I'm waiting. I'm waiting a little bit. I'm not liking how it's hesitating right here. But that is an okay entry. Oh, I didn't like how it was going. It's a little green trade. Nothing that fancy, though. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, I, I wanted it to go faster. I wanted it to go quicker. It just didn't make it right there. Oh, my gosh. There it goes. Oh, I needed, I needed a quick move. AMD going straight on up, man. AMD is going straight on up. I made a little bit of money. Not really how much I wanted to make right there, but... Oh, well. Oh, my gosh. I wanted that to go up faster. I got in at 446. I was looking for immediate resolution by 456. When it didn't pop directly up, I just did not like what it was doing. It was hesitating so much. Look at this hesitation right here. It just was not the best trade right there. That's what the 833 current balance is. He's asking about the deposit amount of 14 plus K, which used to be, uh, we'll, uh, it's still going to be there. John Wick, yes, it's still going to be there, but now that account is blown up, John Wick. I blew up the account. I'm starting over with an account balance of $8,339. I don't want to sit and stew in my blown up account. 
I just don't want to do it. So I'm starting fresh. I'm starting new. I'm starting right from the get, the beginning. But that's what I'm doing. Looking real nice, yeah. Look at AMD, AMD puts right there. AMD, A plus setup, put trade. Put, 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 103. Good starter position right here. 103 puts, 103 puts, 103 puts. Man, this is an A plus setup right here. 103 puts. Uh, you could add up in, if this goes up to 105, you missed the first entry right here. I can show you another entry there. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely uh, restarted. I blew up my first account and I'm just telling the truth with it. That's why I'm doing a brand new account right here. Look at this. Look at this. If this goes up to 105, there's not a trade right now, but there's definitely going to be a trade very soon. All right, my SK is gone. It's blown. Yeah, 8K is gone. It's blown. Yes. So I have a I have an account. I lost six thousand dollars trading options in six months time. I lost a thousand dollars a month for the last six months. I traded options. I'm not a good options trader. Look at JAN. This was garbage. Did you guys see how it was sitting right here? It just would not pop up. I wish it would have popped up quicker when it didn't pop up immediately and give me immediate money. I decided to get out of this. So I took a little green trade on it and I moved on about my day. Uh, yeah. Hi, Mr. Mike. Which video did you blow your account? Uh, the one that says um, I, I actually stopped live streaming that day because I was so mad, but I came back later. It's the it's the video right before the minus forty four hundred. I lost four thousand four hundred dollars. Four fifty seven resistance. Yeah, I was looking for this to go right up to the four seventies, four eighties right there. But there was a good trade. There was good good trades. We seen them down here by the four dollars all the way back up to four fifty. Definitely beautiful beautiful trades there. But the trade I took was not the best trade. HUSA, look at this. HUSA, this is a slower mover, a recycle ad profit trader, though. I'm glad you're back to low folks. Yep. I made over 20 bucks today. I'm trying to make $20 a day. And plus, any donates that come in are going into my account. Plus, I'm going to try to add $100 a week into this account. In six months' time, my account should be back to over $15,000, $16,000. And then we're going to reassess the situation once it gets back up there. Too many people looking to sell at those numbers. Yeah, HUSA, look at this. I'm definitely looking to take another trade here. What am I looking for for HUSA? This one, definitely the high a day is $5.64. Man, look at this. Look at AMD. Oh my gosh, man. AMD, what a short sell. AK is a hard lesson. Nowhere. Yeah, I lost 6,000. Near blown. Unless one continued what I learned from Monkey, I said, no options. Too much risk, risk. Yes, Michael and Greasy had too much risk. Too much risk on options. I just can't afford it. You, you have the ability to buy between 300 and 600 shares in one single trade. With that, you can easily make $50 looking for a 10 cent move. This is a no, yeah, Joseph Bell, you're absolutely right. I scalped the stock market. Yes, the trade I just took on JAN, this was a 10 cent scalp trade, what I was looking for with the potential for it to go up to 470, 480 right there, but it did not do immediately what I thought. Sometimes I like to break my trades down, especially on a stock like JAN that can move 20 to 50 cents a minute easily. I know the stock from history uh, before, so yeah, I just didn't want to do it. I think JAN could possibly be done for the day. Be careful. This is definitely a short trade, a death line short now. Monkey, you must CTT. Yeah, CTT is a long trade. Michael and Grecia, that's one of your specials right here. Look at this. That is a long trade right here, $12. Remember, look at this tight range, $12.15. This actually has a little bit bigger range than sometimes some of the stocks you trade, but definitely $12. 
12 I would even say 1210 using a 1208 stop this is a 12 1210 entry let me show you let's get over there 1210 entry 1207 stop So there we go, stopped out of that trade. That trade is no good. So the next entry is 1208. 1208 entry. Boom, boom, boom. Right here, 1208 entry. Stop. Twelve oh three. Boom, 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 profit. Twelve thirteen. Here we go, man. Let's check it out. If this does SIGA is going up. One hour more, 8K can easily make it. Yeah, $50 a day. That's why I'm saying $20 a day if I see a good, good trade. But anyways, eight, nine, 10. Let's see if it can get up to 12, 13 right here. 12, 13. Then move, stop up, move, stop up as you go boom 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 right there there you go stop stop is done there if you can't just you should take up knitting yeah <clears throat> perhaps I'm, i i am taking swing trades i do have a weeble account also where i take swing trades i'm in a swing trade on facebook right now <clears throat> on on facebook amd congratulations everybody that was a beautiful beautiful trade tesla's popping back up so your stop is going to be 1208 now or you could use it at 1210 hold on i'm trying i'm trying to get my pen to work right here there's no risk in options uh, than there is in shares. The risk is not having a stop loss, sticking to it by at least one week out. <clears throat> yeah, that you can trade them easily. Yes, you definitely can. It's just my account. I need to be able to trade a little bit different. If you can trade the stock outright and just short sell, you're gonna be you're gonna be ten times ahead of the game though. It's it's going to be a whole whole lot easier to short sell. You could short sell AMD right now, and you could have a tight stop. You could short sell at one hundred three forty five and use one hundred uh, three sixty nine as your stop right now. You could short sell AMD, and if it goes up over the top, you're going to look for another entry there. Oh my gosh, there it goes right now. If I could get over there, I can't. My my. My computer's frozen right now. Oh, there it goes, okay. So here you go, boom, boom, boom. Stop. Moved. 12, 11. Stop, move, 12, 11. And then you'll go from there. AMD is going up, up and I. I read the charts, you can successfully, yeah, swing trading's not too hard, but is it worth your money? That's the problem. So, of course you're gonna make money, but there you go, it stopped out, there it is. So anyways, that was a good little trade right there on CTT. There's a lot of good trades on this. You can enter again, as long as you're not bound by the PDT rule, CTT, you can take trade after trade after trade after trade. You can churn your money on CTT today. CTT, LCID, let's go look at this one. I could trade an option contract on LCID actually, I guess. There's worth your money, yeah. I'm, try I'm trying to make about $20 a day right now. 
twenty dollars a day. Yeah, uh, but LCID and AMD. Look at this. Look at this. There is a big player in this. If this thing gets up to one hundred five to one hundred ten, I may have to take this for a trade. Actually, I made tens of thousand AMC last year. Yeah, there's a lot of money. I, I seriously, I do make some money. I do have other accounts, and I, I just want you guys to know that I do, I do make some money. We'll find out how this all goes down. Neuro, which is my kind of trade. Yeah, Neuro definitely is a good one to trade too. How about uh, CBIO is moving up too. CTT is one you could trade all day long today. Look at this, another trade right here. This is another, another trade. Global nine. Global four, first profit, Global 14, we'll see what happens. This is actually a little bit early for a trade right here. But I still like it for a trade. If this trade doesn't work out, your next trade would be down here at twelve dollars. Twelve oh five would be your next trade. <clears throat> Let's see how high this can go. Let's get this money all the way up to one million dollars. Live day trading, low flow small cap stocks, straight from the uh, watch list, the hot stocks of the day. Let's go. Yeah, AMD is going up, up, and up. Maybe you take a long trade on AMD right there. When one figures out, should I have mentioned the way monkey traded options? Yeah, there is a great way to trade, uh, to do the pullback trades. I should have stopped out AMD uh, at minus $200 actually, but <clears throat> that's fine. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to trade AMD options. <laughs> I'm gonna have to trade this. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Anyways, you guys know on this, move your stops up as you go on this. Naked girls, where are the freaking naked girls, man? Boom, boom, boom. June 3rd expiration. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my gosh, man. HUSA, definitely a good trader. CTT, definitely a good trader. A little bit slower moves on HUSA and uh, CTT, but definitely good traders. Boom, boom. Let's go. I'm watching AMD for a possible uh, option trade here. We'll see. We'll see if it works out. If it pans out, we'll see if this pans out or not. Let's go, man. We'll see if AMD is gonna pan out. AMD, sorry, I'm I'm still looking for low flow small cap stocks, but I, if I can make a few hundred dollars on on an option trade, I definitely will take it. 
CTT, money, 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 CTT. I know, Moon Monk, I know. <laughs> Only if it does what I want. AMD is still going up, up and away. If this thing goes up to 107, 108, I'll have no choice but to take it. AMD is going to be the only option trade I, I take. Dude, John, which ticker? AMD right here, man. <clears throat> waiting for it. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm still watching JAN and a couple other stocks. How do I trade options? Well, I have this link to yellow, my symbol. I just right click over here like this and I put send over to yellow and now any trades I take are gonna be an option trade. It will be the 104 strike put trades. The put the calls are on the left side, the puts are on the right side. But I'm loading up the 107s. That's the only way I'll take this, is if this goes up. Let's do it, man. Uh, CBIO is definitely moving up too. I, I I know if I if I can I will only if I see an A plus setup. I'm so glad I'm so fortunate that I learned option contracts. Uh, you can't go back, man. Yeah, I will, man. I got this. We got this, and we're gonna get this money out here all day long trying to trade AMD on the short side, the puts. Let's do it, man. <laughs> Let's do it. All the way up. So much for 8K. Ah, uh, so much for 8K, man. I made my $20 today, a little over 20 bucks. Bot is back. Yeah, Moon Monk, I seen him, man. We got it. I, I don't want to give it no attention, though, you know that. So I'm not going to even mention it again. Here we go. Two, two contracts there. Uh, so JAN is popping back up. I'm actually going to get back over to JAN. That's what we're waiting for. JAN there. This one's coming down. It looks like I'm going to, I have AMD up on the back of my charts up there. If it starts popping up, I'll definitely go over there. JAN, what are we seeing on JAN? Look at it. It's right on support again, right on support. Look at this, it got bought up. Look at this support, long wicks on the bottom, long wicks on the bottom, support, 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 right through this area. 420 to $4 is support. 420 to $4 is support on JAN. I thought it would possibly just keep coming down. We'll have to find out. Look at this. Look at this. JAN high alert, man. Let's get this money. But it's true. Yeah, so many biggest monkey you ain't ready to learn options till you understand spreads. That knowledge will save you thousands. Yeah, I, I can make money on options every single time. A $20 bill, uh, most likely 10 to $20 bill. I, I have a little thing I know how to do. I told the Max about it earlier. You can do that every single day if you want to. Here we go. So this is going to tell a lot about JAN. JAN is definitely has a lot of support down here. I'm going to take out that drawing. 418 to 380s right there. 370s, 350s, 340s. Right in this area. Lots of support from 418 to four dollars. Are we going to make it? And CTT 1206 is an entry. 1206 to 1213. CBIO is moving up to right now. AMD, I thought AMD would give me a little bit better of a move. If it would have, I would have took it. As long as AMD selling volume stays under 500K, still going long. Look for AMD to hold the initial morning high. Yeah, it could, I hope it goes up a little bit higher actually. So HUSA, are you guys trading this? Look at this. Above the VWAP, it's above uh, above the VWAP. It has a lot of support right there. 
Oh man, that was a good trade actually. Look at this, 520, beautiful entry. If this would have came back down a little bit lower, I would have got this one. Look at HUSA, boom, this is looking nice. This is a slow grinder, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Anytime uh, HUSA it spikes up, it usually has a huge pullback. It spikes up, look at this, spikes up, pulls all the way back. Spikes up, boom, pulls back. Spikes up by 40 all the way down into the $5 all the way up to 560 all the way back into $5 spiked up by 40s all the way back into $5 five that 520 level for HUSA definitely support CTT has support at 1150 $12 only buying calls that puts us like using a flathead or fill up head for all your builds yeah that's definitely you should be taking both sides of large cap and mega cap you're absolutely right you can do it but you got to have a strategy for both sides if you only have a strategy for one side you might as well wait for your setups sometimes it's cool but some situations call for something else yes 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 i'm only trading long right now on low full small cap stocks look at this Lots of resistance up here by the 540 to 560s. Is it going to make it through this this time? There it goes. And this is the, if it's going to go any time, this is the time. 545, up over 545, there may be a little scalp trade. That's what I'm looking for. AMD all the way back down. Congratulations. Man, AMD. Mm -mm -mm. AMD. There's nothing else really moving out here. OPGN popped up a little bit. We traded that one. GGR, low volume. All these have low volume out here. DTT though, look at this. Boom, beautiful $12, $12.08. Man, that's a good trade on that one. CTT has given you money, money, and money. HUSA getting rejected again by the 540s. First chance, it tried, it made it. Momentum carried it over. Second try, 545. Third try, 545. Support is down by the 520 to $5. If you're going to take a trade on HUSA, you may have to hold a little bit longer. Anywhere between 525 and 510 is the entry. Is the entry for the retest of 545. And I think it goes over 545. Definitely. Yeah, sometimes it's cool. Yeah, I, I took some good trades at the market open. Look at my first trade I took today. I'm going to show it to you guys out here. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. I jumped right in, 190 shares. I should have made $25 on my first trade and $25 on my second trade, but I didn't realize I only got filled 90 shares. So I couldn't get out. I was going, why can't I get out 100 shares? It's because I was only filled 90 shares. Uh, where, where you have high, hot keys where you can use percentages, ha half of your shares will just go automatically. But uh, on this, I have to be specific is the problem. But oh well. So that should have been a little bit more. Captured about 13 cents on 190 shares. Not too bad. 27 bucks. Took a couple more scalps out here. Not the best. Good job on those first few trades too. Yeah, good trades on there. That first trade was incredible, man. I jumped in right there at the 450s. I should have taken my profit at 470 plus 20 cents on my first 90 shares. I should have had... Uh, some good money out there, but I couldn't get in. I couldn't get out because I only had 90 shares. So should have had 50 bucks today, actually. 50 bucks a day is going to be great.
Today I made 27, 20, 20 dollars actually, 22 to bucks. Yeah, we'll, we'll get another trade out here. J-A-N and H-U-S-A, definitely waiting me out. Look at this, support resistance. What are we seeing? Look at this, look at this thing, man. J-A-N, what is gonna happen? Five dollars and four cents. This thing popped all the way up. Here we go. Let's get it. If this gets up over this level, I'm gonna take another trade. If it gets up over the 450s, gets back up over the VWAP, this is gonna be my time to take the trade. I'm going to take it right there. I'm looking for a push up to 460, a little pullback, boom, and for a right into the halt. That's what I'm waiting for. If you want to get in a little bit early, we can definitely see a lot of support by the $4. $4 does have some support, but I'm not trusting it now. It's been trending lower, lower, and lower. Until it gets back up over the 450s, I'm just not trusting it. HUSA, on the other hand, definitely has some good trades. HUSA, look above the VWAP. It's been trending higher and higher and higher. HUSA is the total opposite of JAN. This is a good long trader. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Anywhere between the 520s and 510s right there. Not a bad entry. Yeah, Jan's probably going to four. Definitely. I'm waiting for it. If you guys could, please hit the like button. YouTube loves it, and I love it too. If you guys like low full small cap stocks, thank you, thank you, and thank you. We have 56 likes right now. We're going to dance. We're going to get down. Thank you guys for going through this journey with me. I just could not bear to lose any more money day trading options. It just was hurting my heart. It was hurting this journey. You guys don't even know what the future holds. I'm doing the best I can. I'm going to start making some more videos on how to make extra money. Does anybody know how to make any extra money out there? A real simple, easy way. I'm going to make a video. I have two GoPro cameras. I have one that will live stream. I have one that will uh, record. I have two GoPros. I'm going to strap one to my head and one to my back and see where I get first. <laughs> I'm going to strap one to my chest and one to my back and we'll see what happens. Where am I going, man? Where am I freaking going, man? Take away your uh, take like if monk trades options. I know. Yeah, joking. Moon monk, I know, man. I need to stay away from those options. I uh my my computer my disk usage was pegged at a hundred percent and I thought it was uh I think something was going on with my computer it was like had a virus or something I think it may be fixed. CT we still have fifty six likes. Let's dance. Oh, we'll dance. Hands raised, stays raised. Please hit the like button, 56 likes. Well, we can sell tamales. <laughs> Is that a good idea, man? Maybe on a hot day, I should go buy some ice creams. Did you scan it? What, which one? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about the rest of the video. I, I mean, the, the dog story. I'm gonna tell you guys about it here in a minute. Fifty nine likes. Yeah, I did scan it, Moon Monk. Articulate my balance. I blew up my last account. Sixty likes. Yeah, I scanned it. There was something else going on with my hard drive. I, I'm gonna get a S, uh, SD drive and, and pop it on in here. SD drive. And that's what I'm gonna do. But I wanted to tell you guys what happened. Remember there were wild dogs chasing my goats. They killed one of my goats. They killed the neighbor's sheep, a couple of their sheep. 
what ended up happening, I really thought it was the neighbor lady, and you guys aren't even going to believe my neighbor lady ended up moving, the one that was kind of rude and stuff. Now I have a really nice neighbor lady. But I was going, are those your dogs that are killing the animals around the neighborhood? And uh, she goes, no, those ain't my dogs. Those are the neighbor's dogs or the wild dogs or whatever. And you'll never guess what, the neighbor who has the sheep, I went and handled the business. Remember when I handled business and I went and, uh, over and talked with the lady? And we handled the business. But I come to find out it wasn't even her dogs. It was it was the neighbor next to her dog. They had moved in there. They moved in there and they were letting their dogs out in the morning and they would run. They, they didn't realize they were getting out of their fence. They let them run around and they would run over and kill animals when they let them out in the morning to use the bathroom. And, and so what ended up happening is the neighbor down the hill with the sheep, they got a lawyer. <laughs> they got a freaking lawyer, man. And, and they went and they said, who's killing them? They found out who whose dogs they were and they called the dog pound on them. And uh, the dog the dog pound, they uh, I didn't realize it at the time that she had called uh, the dog pound or the sheriffs or whatever. So the, the sheriff, yeah, I'm putting an electric fence, Jezebel. The sheriffs ended up coming over to my house and I, I don't let the sheriffs in, in on my property, man, but they they came in already. Yeah, it's a kind of, I love animals, I'm going to tell you. I'm trying to get through this story the best I can. I'm not doing the best job. But anyways, the, the guy came over here, and the, the sheriff came over here. The sheriff came over, said, I heard you had a goat killed. I had a picture of the goat and stuff. I gave it to him. He goes, do you know what the dogs looked like? I told him what the dogs looked like. And he goes, your neighbor down the hill, they, call, they called us. And they said, here's a picture of the dogs. He had pictures of the dogs and everything. I said, yeah, it sure looks like them. They had already positively identified, identified the dogs. But I, I identified the dogs too. But the sheriff came over, said, that guy, he said, I'm not doing nothing without a warrant. You can't come on my property. There ain't nothing you're going to do. The sheriff was telling me this story. He's being an asshole. He's being a prick. And I was going, are you sure it's that neighbor's dogs? I thought it was the other neighbor's dogs at that point still. And he goes, yeah, it's their dogs. Here's the pictures. Got the whole pictures, the whole situation. And, th and then... And then he's going, well, that guy with those dogs is getting an asshole. He says, you can't come on my property if you don't have a warrant. You don't have this. You don't have that. This and that. So the sheriff ended up leaving. He goes, I'm going on vacation. I'll be back at the end of the holidays. I said, well, I'm going on vacation too, so I'll be back. <laughs> we'll figure it. You guys get it figured out. And then before I left on vacation, I think this was on Thursday or something, um, the, the a man came to my house and I didn't realize the neighbor next to my other neighbor had moved out too. And there was a new neighbor that moved in. This never happens in my neighborhood. Nobody ever moves or nothing. But he came to take care of the old man that used to live there or whatever. He came to my house. He goes, I heard, uh, I heard my dog's been killing your goats and the neighbor lady's sheep down the way. And he goes, uh, are you sure it's my dog's? And I said, well, it sure looked like your dogs. I'm not going to say it's absolutely your dogs. I, I, have, I, only, I want to get along with my neighbors. I want to do this. I want to do that. I, I, I'm not really trying to get down where to get down. But if you can look down, you know I got my boots on and they're laced up. I'm ready to go, man. And he goes, uh, he goes, well, are you sure it wasn't my dogs or was it not my dogs, man? And I, and I told him. I told him, well, it sure looked like your dog's a picture. The guy had pictures. The sheriff had pictures. The lady down the way, she I had positively identified. I said, I'm not sure if it's really your dogs or not. And uh, I said, I said, but they came over and they killed my goats. And he goes, are you sure they killed your goats? Are you sure they weren't already dead? I said, no, man. I seen uh, those dogs killed my goats. And he goes, and I said, do you think it's your dogs or maybe it's the neighbor ladies? He goes, it's my dogs. And then he, ha he was crying, man. 
he was he was so he was so sad man he was so sad he goes well uh i know you're not lying to me i know i know this that whatever you're not lying to me everything's good i'm gonna go turn my dogs in uh to uh to the sheriff and I said, oh, man, I hate to hear that, but, you know, dogs can't be killing animals. He goes, I understand that. I'm a really good, uh, a good shepherd of dogs. I should have never, ever let my dogs do something like that. I'm, I'm a horrible dog owner is basically what he was saying. I'm a better man than that. I'm a better person than that. And uh, I told the shit he was telling me, I told the sheriff, go get a warrant. I'm not turning my dogs in. But after talking to you, he was sad. He was crying about his dogs. He goes, I'm going to turn my dogs in, man. And I told him, okay, well, do what you got to do and move on about your day. It's nice to meet you. And hopefully we can meet under better circumstances, man. And that was the story. Thing, yeah, he owned it, man. He definitely owned it. He loved his dogs. I said, well, how long you had your dogs? He, he only had them eight months, though. But they were rescue dogs. He loved his dogs. And everything like that but he turned his dogs in I, I got a call the other day the sheriff called me and the sheriff called the neighbor down the way the guy went and turned his dogs in and that was it man yeah very sad very intense story though man that guy he was listening to every word I had to say there and he was say he was listening and he was crying he got he just shook his head had his head low he knew it was his dogs after talking to me. There was no more fight left in him. Didn't even need the boots, man. Yeah, buy him a puppy. He'll he'll go get he's gonna get another animal, man. He'll be fine. He's he's good. He understands the situation. What he go once dogs taste blood, that is the end. And he could fence his yard and all that, but yeah, that was it. Thank you for hitting the like button. But anyways, now I know my other neighbor. Now we have two new neighbors, and they're both pretty uh, nice people, man. Definitely nice, nice people. It's good not to have beef with neighbors. Yeah, you can't have a beef with the neighbors. If you do, you're going to have a... Uh, it's going to be a horrible situation, man. But I'm not just going to lay down either, you know what I mean? And put my belly in the air. We're not going to just lay down. That's the truth. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. But he understood uh, straight out, straight, straight up, man. I'm still an MULN with a stop at break even. Let me go look at MULN. MU, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. This is I almost at an A plus setup short sell, man. I'm sorry to say that, but it is. I'll pay for the go. Uh, he uh, actually, Doreen, he asked me, uh, he asked me, uh, uh, how much, how much should I give you for the goat? I told him, uh, it's okay, man. I understand. You loved your dogs. Your dogs are fine. I, I should, I probably should have took payment for the goats, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay to have a good neighbor in the future. Everything's fine. Yeah, he, he was going to handle the goats. I think he is paying for the other neighbor's goats, though. The other neighbor's sheep down the hill. He's going to have to. They're not as they're not as uh, lenient as I am, man. You got the goat killer. Yep, the goat killer has been solved. It was a huge ruckus in the neighborhood, man. Huge ruckus. I hate to be in the middle of any of these situations around here, man. But we were in the drama for reals. The drama was real, man. <laughs> it was crazy, man. The goats were on high alert. The sheep was on high alert. The dogs were in the neighborhood. We, there, a lot of people have dogs around here. We're all over barking, barking, and barking. And you're not even going to believe, I forgot to tell this part of the story. I, after he left my house, he goes, he, he decided to take his dogs on one last walk before he went to turn them in. And the dog seen a deer and took off running and got away from him. He called me and said, oh no, my dogs are on the loose. But he ended up catching him about 30 minutes later. But at least he called and told me, so I, I watched my goats. HUSA, look at this. HUSA, definitely. Look at this. Support, 520s. There it was. I should have been watching closer, man. Good on you. Yeah, Moon Monk, we handled, it handled business, man. 
There we go. Let's see what's going on out here. Here we go, man. Oh, yeah, that was a hard story, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was definitely a hard, hard story. HUSA, I was waiting for another trade. Let's make sure if there's any other stocks out here. Timber, TMBR, definitely has a lot of support here. You could get into TMBR and capture a couple cents right here. 35 cents, 35 to 36, maybe take profit up towards 38. Not the best trade out here. JAN definitely is uh, the dog shorted the ghosts. Then Monk shorted the dogs. Yeah, the dogs are gone, man. He turned them in. They're done. Done deal. One one was a German Shepherd, like a wolf dog. The other was like a like a lab, I guess, or not really a lab, but like had a was yellow in color, a big old dog. TT, you should let CC the egg slayer get the dogs. I know, man. I still the the chickens. You guys don't know, but my chickens have been in in their pen so no dogs can get my chickens right now they're in a pen that's why you don't hear them crowing anymore they're they're in their pen i'm gonna let them free range here pretty soon but i just couldn't let them free range because i'm doing a little bit of work around here and i didn't want them getting into sitting on all my uh stuff around here man J A N. put some spikes on your chickens yeah i i watched this one show uh the chicken, uh, I don't know, but they they captured some chickens <laughs> uh, that were from a chicken fighting ring. And those chickens were brutal, man. They would want to fight, fight, and fight. OPGN. CTT coming down. Look at those little trades on there. $12 to $12.11. 1196 to $12.02. June 3rd. Yeah, AMD, man. I was waiting. I don't see nothing else. So what I'm going to say for today is keep an eye on JAN. HUSA definitely is at support here. This is a trade. You could get in right here. Where where would be the best entry? I would say 525 would be not a bad entry with one ad maybe at 515 and then your stop would be at 510. This is not a bad trade actually. I'm not going to take this trade because it's just a little bit slower and I do have to get out of here very soon. Hang girl, he ain't going to tell you, Joseph. L. I'll tell you guys in the future. Definitely, I'm going to have a party at my house. I really thought it was this year, but next summer, we're going to be there for sure. That's, oh, FAMI. FAMI. I do like this one. FAMI. You can see this is definitely... Let's see what happened. Was that the split? Let's go. One, one to 25 reverse stock split. Basically, I can't really tell what's going on, but it did a one to 25 reverse stock split. You know why they tried to do that is because they were below a dollar. If they're below a dollar, they're going to get delisted by NASDAQ. They'll go to the OTC pink sheet market. So they need to stay above a dollar. So that's probably why they did a reverse stock split. So now they're definitely going to try to stay above a dollar. Anytime this gets close to a dollar, there could be a trade down by a dollar because they're going to try to pull out some news. They're going to try to do something. So FAMI, if this gets back down close to a dollar, be looking for a, a little bit of a bounce there with some kind of news coming out. FAMI, right now I just don't know if it's a trade or not. 
But Vegas, yeah, we're going to do Vegas, man. There's going to do, we, Michael and Grisa, we can go to Vegas. Vegas is a cheap trip, man. Cheap, cheap trip for everybody. Anybody in the United States, you can get a cheap trip there. We're gonna we're gonna do I'm trying to get this thing. Uh maybe we'll we'll have a poker, a little poker thing with the it's gonna be the monkey army. Look at J A N. Four dollars. Somebody said four dollars here. Four dollars all the way. Oh my gosh, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in this. Four dollars and ten cents. 410. I'm going to get in here, man. This is going to be nice. Man, I'm going to have to get in this way up here. I'm going to get in this. I'm getting in J-A-N here. <clears throat> 418. I'm in at $4.18. My first profit target's going to be, just with small share size, 418. First profit target will be four. Oh, I'm only in with four shares, actually. So let's see, 418. I'll add to my position when this pops up. We should have a Skype party first so we can meet each other. We are meeting. Uh, I would love to meet a lot of you. Uh, we're going to start having some people live on stream since we're day trading low full of small cap stocks again. There's definitely uh, possibilities for some things. So, so HUSA is an okay trade also at the 520s. J-A-N, why am I taking J-A-N when it's way below the VWAP here? This is going to have a retest of the VWAP. Has a lot of support down here by $4. If I if I could add again at 408, I would add at 408. I'm pretty confident that this is going to make me some money. The reason I'm trading this one instead of H-U-S-A, even though H-U-S-A is at a great spot too, is because of JAN has a better range on it and I would have to hold on to HUSA a little bit longer. Here we go, man. Let's do it. Yeah, we're going to do something, man. We're getting closer each and every day. Thank you guys for being here with me. So my first profit target's going to be $4.28 or 427. And then 437, 443, right there. We'll see what happens with this. Here we go. Or a Zoom party. Well, we can go to uh, Discord. Uh, if anybody wants to come live on the live stream in Discord, just leave me a message in the Discord and we can do it from there. HUSA, here's a trade. This is going to be the one that pays off. This is an entry right here at 520. 525 is an entry for HUSA. This is the other trade I'm looking at. Both of these are A plus setup trades. J A N is an A plus setup trade. H U S A is an A plus setup trade too. Look at it. Look at it, man. There it goes, man. We're gonna have to take this one too, actually. There it goes. Look at that. Five twenty five to five thirty five, just like that. Here we go. I'm gonna take this one too. Actually, I'm looking for this to get up over the 545s. If this gets up over 545, I'm going to jump into HUSA. <clears throat> Beautiful trade off the 520s there, though. 
Here we go. If I can get it. Boom, boom, boom. Man, what a good trader here. HUSA. I wish I would have jumped into this one at the same time as JAN, actually. <clears throat> so HUSA, definitely a beautiful entry right here. Beautiful entry, boom. With profit right there. Oh, profit will be right here, boom. Profit, profit, profit. All the way up. Here it goes. Here it goes again. I actually, I'm going to have to wait for this to get up over the 450s. I have it. RDBX has a good trade. RDBX, $7. I thought 680 was the top. I, I think it's up a little bit higher than I thought it would go. Oh, look at this. Getting rejected right here. If this gets up over 450, I'll definitely take a trade. Yep. Andy girl, definitely beautiful trades right there. Look at that. Just a clean, clean trade on there. We were talking about this earlier. Let's go look at JAN. Look at JAN. Look at this volume now. Just sitting here, sitting here, sitting here. Not doing anything. JAN, just sitting here. It just went up. It spiked up from 405 to 420s. And now it's coming back down. We'll see where the next buy is. I'm going to add down into this one a little bit and look for the next trade out there. AMD making another move too. Is there anything else we see out here? Man, you could get in for HUSA right here at 540. I'm not going to do it, though. Your commentary is such a help. Thank you. Yeah, Handy Girl, definitely some good, definite situations out here. JAN, A-plus setup. Uh, CTT, still good trades on that, I believe. 1185 is not a bad entry on CTT. Man, some good, good trades out here. JAN is a good trader. $4 is going to be your risk about adding down into that thing. Hopefully I can. We'll find out. HUSA, you could get into HUSA right here again. I'm not trusting it because remember last time, it pops up and comes back down. Pops up, comes back down. Pops up, comes back down does it a lot of times so only if it proves itself and proving itself to me is up over uh four uh five fifties and then we'll go yeah boom 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 Today I'm not going to make a video another video but I'm just getting I'm getting in where I fit in. Let's see what happens to JAN here. ODT FAMI CTT I still like this one for trades has a lot of support at 1150. 1150 definitely if you wanted to wait down there. 1160 to 1140 would be a definite entry for that. HUSA. Yeah, the SPY has support. 411 is the support for the SPY. Where is Facebook? Oh, Facebook coming back up. I'm in this at 192. 192, so I'm up about $3 a share. I'm looking for my first profit up towards 204, 205, though. I'm willing to add down into this one. OXY. JAN. Come on. HUSA. HUSA. Okay entry, I guess. But this one is such a slow mover. We got to wait. 
Man, I'm going to have to get out of here soon, actually. I'm, I, I got to get out of here. It's uh, 1130 right now. I'm going to tell you guys how much money I made today so we can start uh, this mission up to $1 million. Little by little by little. I'm day trading low full small cap stocks live every single day. So how much money did I make today? Not a lot, but I'm looking to make $20 a day. I made, let's see. Minus. I made Green Day, but J-A-N is still a good trade in my opinion. H-U-S-A also is there, but... I'm going to tell you guys how much money I made. Green Day, after commissions and everything, $21.96. Boom. All right, see you tomorrow, TT. Thank you, Jim Z. I did a good day today. I'm happy with my trading. I'm spending about $4,000 every single day. It takes two days for your cash to clear. 